it's great knowing that we are part of uh, such a great mission in trying to alleviate hunger in our county. For me, I think it's inspiring working with people like Paul at Lake Merritt United Methodist Church who are doing this, you know, work. They're unsung heroes. You know? On Friday morning, the um, Alameda County Food Bank arrives with its truck laden with the pallets of the, the fresh produce that we're going to distribute the following day. Um, Paul Belto um, usually meets that truck and helps the, the unloading of the pallets. Typically it's rice, beans, some kind of um, canned good, could be corn or, or beans. Um, and the bread, and the bread arrives from Semifreddy's. So another volunteer has gone to pick up day-old bread from, from Semifreddy's. And uh, we start bagging the bread and try to somehow um, divide that out so that everybody gets a little bit of bread. So whether we're cutting um, baguettes into halves or, or whatever so that everybody gets some bread. We gave clients the chance to choose the kind of food that they were receiving from the food pantry and um, trying to put a little bit more emphasis on the, the fresh fruits and vegetables that are available through the Alameda County Community Food Bank. United Methodist Church is one of those partner agencies, is one of those 240 agencies and um, a really, really strong partner of ours um, that, you know, is always going above and beyond to meet the community need. Is they don't just come for the food, they come for the socializing. They love to, you know, they, this is their time to get together and, and see each other and everything like that. So it's not just the food. I don't, I don't think it's about my benefit, I think it's about the benefit of others. So that sounds a little cliche, but I don't, I don't do it to make myself feel better. Yeah. They'll admit that, and I think you would agree that, um, I feel good about doing it, but I don't wake up and say, oh, I want to feel good for helping people. It's I want to help people, and I guess it'll make me feel good too. Yeah, I think it's sort of, you see a lot of homeless people, especially in Berkeley where I live, and it's nice to sort of like be, be able, able to help be them able in to, a yeah, proactive way. Feel like you're helping. Yeah. So, a young mother who comes with two small children, and she's been coming, um, for at least two years, and she speaks um, some English, and she likes to hang around uh, time to time and just talk. And what she talks about is just um, that the food helps her feed her children, and um, that it would be harder if she couldn't get the food that she gets from here. The number one challenge that all of our food programs face is funding and not having a budget. Um, that's huge. So we, you know, um, we are constantly looking for ways to increase their capacity. I would say that we need to take care of each other in many ways, and one of them is providing food. We need to provide shelter, we need to provide care, we need to let people know our neighbors outside of our church walls, outside of our homes, that people need, people, they need to know that people care about them. Yeah.